Do you think Hamas is a terror organization? I don't think Hamas is a terror organization, and it's uh, a very foolish conflation that you make. But very little is known about this organization's ideology. What is Hamas? The signing of the Oslo Accords on the 26th of October 1994 presented an historic opportunity for bringing an end to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. However, on the morning of February 25th, 1996, Hamas shattered this nascent dream and instead ushered in an era of unrelenting terror. With over 3,000 attacks in 2005 alone, Hamas has left in its wake thousands of victims who have been killed or maimed in a flow of endless bloodshed. Established in late 1987, Hamas is the Palestinian branch of the Muslim Brotherhood. This Islamist organization is subdivided into military, welfare and religious arms. Hamas's charter, ratified in 1988, sets forth the organization's ideology that clearly states, Israel will rise and will remain erect until Islam eliminates it. Peace initiatives, the so-called peaceful solutions, are all contrary to the beliefs of the Islamic resistance movement. There is no solution to the Palestinian problem except by jihad. The various operations carried out by Hamas resemble those of similar religious Islamic terrorist organizations, all of which demonstrate a blanket allegiance to the laws stipulated in their respective charters. هم الذين يجب أن يذبحوا ويجب أن يقتلوا كما قال الله تبارك وتعالى قاتلوهم. Dismissing any attempts to reach a peaceful solution, Hamas is an Islamic resistance movement, blindly adhering to the cause of armed struggle and refusing to submit to international pressure to recognize and negotiate with the state of Israel. I'm very close with Hamas. I know Mahmoud al-Zahar all the way down through Khaled Meshal and, uh, and the leaders in Gaza and the West Bank. And I can tell you that they are terrorists. Well, we'll just have to disagree on our uh, definition of terrorism. I just, what, is, what, what is terrorism? I, I just caution you against what is a very foolish conflation of two entirely separate phenomena. Let's move on from there because clearly we're going to disagree. And, and by the way, Hamas is entirely allied with the global jihad. Mahmoud al-Zahar and the others regularly state that they're, they're looking to impose an Islamic regime. You are a, or a, a political broadcast on behalf of the Zionist movement. I think that we should conclude this interview now. I told you at the beginning, before we started, I don't speak to the Israeli media. I'm not the Israeli and, uh, media. Uh, well, you, you, you might as well be. And I've no intention of talking to either of you any further. So good afternoon, gentlemen. I first befriended Yasser Arafat in the 1970s. And as the New York Times reported, 
This is summer camp on Arafat's TV. <laughs> The day of shame last Wednesday, when the fighters had to surrender in Janine and in Nablus. Why? Not because they didn't have the courage to continue, because they didn't have the bullets to fire. While the Arab regimes have doubled, tripled the security on their borders to make sure that not a single weapon, not a single bullet can reach the Intifada. Victory to the Intifada! Long live the resistance! Good evening to you, George. Yes, a couple Victor. of statements you made that I can't quite fathom out. Yesterday you said that the Israelis killed Yasser Arafat. I don't ever see that documented anywhere, that he was killed by the Israelis. And the second point I make about that, you're talking about the Palestinians, how poor and how they're scraping for a living and everything. Is it not true that Yasser Arafat, when he died, had millions and millions of pounds spread all over the world, and his wife was pictured in Paris buying designer clothes, or maybe that I have got it all wrong, or was that not true? Well, thanks, Victor. Uh, as a f matter of fact, it, it isn't true. It uh, isn't Yasser true. Arafat didn't so leave any money So everybody in the world got it all wrong. Uh, Victor, you asked the question, so let me answer it. Yes, but Yasser I... Arafat didn't leave any money at all. Yasser Arafat owned nothing except the uniform on his back. They wouldn't deal with Arafat. Then they besieged him, then they killed him. That's what I said last night. I say it again tonight. فسكتوا فأحدهم قال لي بصراحة الفرنساويين أعطونا التقرير الطبي سبب وفاة أبو عمار هو مرض الإيدز أطباء الفرنسيين رغم أنه تكلمت معهم تكلمت أطلب أني أشوف أي واحد منهم أو أسمع من أي واحد فيهم لم يجاوبوني ولكن لما توفى الرئيس ياسر عرفات بعثوا لي إيميل أو رسالة إلكترونية على أنه الرئيس عرفات دخل عندهم المستشفى وبعد فحص الدم وجدوا أنه عنده مكروب الإيدز هلا قاعدين بيترحموا عليه لياس عرفات وانه فاتوا على بيته ولا ما بعرف ايش وكذا ومن مواضيع انا بقول لكل واحد شريف في داخل حركه فتح عليه ان يفرح بالتخلص من هذا الوباء الذي كان مسلط عليهم وعلى الشعب الفلسطيني طيب اسمح لي والان طيب فرصه طيب اسمح لحركه فتح ان تجدد ام ويز غوي تريز ا بيتر سيت اوف مانرز وين هيز ان لوس انجلوس فروم ذا وان ذات هي اكزيبيتس وين هيز ان say, uh, Syria on state television when he praises the martyrs and the jihadists and the 150 or so operations they conduct every day in Iraq. He goes there to stir it up and then he comes here to tell us, watch out, they're being nasty. That's, I think, disgraceful. Wow, that's what Arafat used and then to do. It seems to me that you've that's... made this Frankenstein monster of right. Islamist fundamentalism. What? Now you want to punish the Afghans for a guy that the, you sent them. The Afghans had the right to fight against the Soviet invasion of their country, which Mr. Galloway supported. That's the first thing. The second thing is the CIA did not invent Mr. Bin Laden. Can we talk about Bin Laden instead of me? Mr. Bin Laden was sent sui generis by a Saudi yes, group. Yes, an unhealthy personal the obsession the only, with me. Nobody uh, here he even knows that. me. Why don't we talk about Bin Laden? And talk about Al Qaeda. Talk about. Well, we're the not issues. going to talk about him as if he's our fault, Mr. Galloway. However, slimily you put it. Are you in the United States? We're not going to now? blame him. For, we're not going to blame ourselves for. I love it when the British fight. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's. Uh, it's uh,
There's nothing British There's about it. There's only one better fight, and that's a chick There's fight. Nothing I think British we all know that. Nothing British about Mr. Galloway, who's a fifth column run from the Middle East uh, in British politics. Anyone who says that we're to blame for it is carrying no, no, no water for the people that. who committed it. I'm, I'm just getting